Hey everybody, I'm John from Rusty Chains. Welcome to a little breakdown we're doing of uh, all the fancy new content in the Overwatch public test region. And uh, first thing we're going to do is go through and look at all the new emotes, as well as Reinhardt's new skins. Now, they've added a laughing emote for every hero, and a sitting emote. And the sitting emotes are especially interesting to me, because once your hero sits down, they will stay, you know, sitting down. Until you pull them out of that. So let's take a look at some of these. <laughs> That's Anna's laughing. And that's her, uh... Her... Her... Bleh, bleh. Yes. Bastion does not, in fact, have a sitting emote. He's the only hero that does not, as far as I'm aware. You can see Diva's playing a little game. Eating chips and... No, drinking her soda. She's gone full gamer mode. <laughs> There's Genji sitting. <laughs> and this one's actually a reference to the uh, dragon's short. The motion he does when he gets down and the way he sits is exactly what he does when he arrives in uh, Shimada Castle, point B on Hanamura. Let's watch that again. Junkrat sitting, kind of lounging about. Just kind of hanging out, listening to music, you know.
Now, this being the uh, Reinhardt update, he also gets two skins based on Baldrick von Alder, who plays a big part in the Eisenwald map. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And we'll talk about more how he incorporates himself into the map later, but both a clean set of his armor, the Baldrick, is available. Oh, so sexy. This is going to become the only Reinhardt skin I ever use the minute I unlock it. It's just beautiful completely. And then here's the Grief Heart, which is just the same, but all torn up. And this is how he appears more on the map itself. And this is when Baldrick was functioning. So we've got these nice two uh, new legendary skins for Reinhardt that you can look forward to when this PTR drops. This one's really interesting because Symmetra's whole thing is architecture and she just kind of builds a little chair for herself. Although I hope uh, Blizzard go back and touch it up a bit because as you can see here in the back there's a lot of clipping errors and this is just the default skin so it's not like it's that hard to account for. So hopefully they go back and fix that although it's not the end of the world if they don't. Now this having a laugh emote, I'm showing it, but it's not new, it's been in the game since release, Tracy's always had it. But her sitting emote is new, and she just kinda hangs out. Itself. Now I'm playing this with AI off in Skirmish just to give you guys a nice little um, little walkthrough of the map in peace. And why am I starting this from uh, from the custom game menu you might ask? Because every map in Overwatch has its own little musical theme and you guys are going to take a listen to that. And in my brilliance, I forgot to put myself on Team 2, which is attack. Protect the innocent. Just so we can get nice shots of everything. And I don't want to say this map is absolutely gorgeous. It's honestly one of my favorite maps just because 
you know, we spend all this time in Overwatch hearing about the Omnic Crisis. And here's where we see the repercussions of it for the first time. There's Bastion corpses and other Omnic corpses layered throughout. And over there you can see the uh, city from the last Bastion sort. Short, sorry. And here we have uh, blueprints from during the war, which is really, really cool. And we are right here, smack in the middle. So you've got a few exits from spawn. You've got left, center, but we'll just go center. And then up here, you've got those exits to the right. So we're just going to jump out this one for now. And immediately you see the carnage that took over this town during the Omnic Crisis. Bastions layered everywhere. You've got a full-on destruction beast of death over there. It's majestic. So it's our left entrance from spawn. And immediately coming at the left entrance, you've got this wonderful flanking opportunity to sweep around. And here we are. That's the center exit right there. And you've got the opportunity to cut through this building if you so desire. There's a large health pack in here. And you can also go through the top, but there's no real reason for defenders and anyone to go up there. So there's not a huge reason for that hole. Although I guess Junkrat could do some nice lobbing there. Now if you go around right, you've got this building you can cut through. And you can also go down through this house here with the large health pack on the right side. Right exit spawns over there. This is the uh, middle exit, so it's between the right and middle. You can go through here. And then you've also got this, this little music shop here. Small health pack. And then you come to the arch. Now this arch is the first real problem you're going to have on the attacking team. This is a nice little... You know, there's really nothing you can do to push through. You know, this archway here or here can basically be blocked by an entire Reinhardt shield. And as you'll see if you go right through this building here, this little computer shop, it's that easy to get up here on foot, so you're gonna have a lot of Torbjorns, Bastions, possibly even Junkrats and the like up here. So you're gonna have two layers of um, defense here, but once you get past that arch, and if you can clear that out, there are many flanking routes to this first point, which is right here, that's our payload cart. You can go from the right, or from the left, you've got this tower, here's that left. This tank here provides large amounts of cover. You can go underneath. Now this one isn't going to be hugely helpful for attackers, because defenders can also come through here, and they will. We'll talk a bit more about uh, this in a minute. Defenders will come through there a lot, so this isn't a most viable option, but if you can find yourself getting back here without any defenders present, it's a wonderful flanking opportunity. You can go through this building as well for extra cover. And this is your first point. Now once you capture the payload, it's going to move down the street outside to this gate. It's going to just take this direct path right here. And now what's interesting is, although it's a functioning battering ram, which you'll see later if you actually play the map, it doesn't smash through this. This is not a checkpoint, it just stops and waits for the gate to open, and that takes roughly 8 seconds. So that's 8 seconds where you're vulnerable and the cart is still, even if your team is technically pushing it. So here, right away you see this little castle. This is that um, archway from before, see so we're back in the house. So defenders can easily push through and get there quickly. And of course you can go through the right side if you're on attack, left if you're on defense. That doesn't really do as much, but it's still useful. Again, cover here. You can go up to this kind of upper layer here. And this is going to be very useful. You can have Torbjorn turrets all along here, maybe even a Bastion. Um, you can do the same up here for snipers. Bastion's hanging out, you know, if you could get like Hanzo or Widow up here, it could be devastating. You know, just um, here. just up here, shooting down, like a Venom mine over there especially. And of course attackers can also come through here and flank up on these guys if they're not expecting it. And again, there's many flank routes on this map. For example, attackers can go left down here. 
through this pathway. And boom, we're back here in this area. And of course you can also go up top. And this part is where snipers, Bastion, Torbjorn, all of them, they will really shine. So you can set up up here, nice and high. You've got a great view of everything. You've got all along here. You can also go up there. You've got a little health pack all for you. Now attackers can flank, but they have to go through a lot to do that. And of course, you know, all the snipers can easily get up here. And as far as I'm aware, this is the highest point you can get overlooking the main town. And this can be very strong. And you can also just cruise down that, so here's like Ana without high movement abilities can get down. And of course you can uh, put a turret here if you want. Now this bridge right here, because the cart will eventually come up that road, obviously, around to here. This bridge is going to be your biggest problem past that first archway, assuming you're playing an, um, an attacker. Because you've got defensive heroes all along here, again all along this bridge and archway. And then you can have them have your snipers up on these side platforms too, which can be deadly. Now if you want to try to be fancy, you can flank around back onto the other side of the bridge this way, although you can't do that until you push the cart to the first checkpoint, which is this circle right here. Now once you capture this point, you know, this all opens up. That uh, defender spawn you saw, this opens up, you can come through and up this way and flank, but obviously that doesn't help much until you've captured this point here. Okay, you go on the left, you've got the big health pack, or you can come in the right for the small one. And this just is this entrance right here. And of course you've got another spawn point here. Now you can go up this way, and I especially love this, there's a neat little Dark Souls easter egg up here. You get yourself a little large health pack, and then the bonfire from Dark Souls. It's here, just chilling. that's pretty neat. So you can just uh, come up there, fill up, as you do. And now the payload will smash right through this gate here once you eventually capture that first point again. And that takes about 10 seconds as well before you can push it through, and I believe everyone has to still be on the cart while um, you're pushing through, while it's ramming. And then you just push it along the carpet. This carpet is your route for the payload. You've got a nice little flanking path you can take here. You know, a quick tracer or Lucio could um, really fuck your day up. You've got a large health pack there. And again, you've got all these opportunities, especially this balcony up here for snipers, turrets, bastion. All these wonderful things. Now something I do want to talk about again on this bridge out here real quick. There are a lot of knockback heroes, and they can be very deadly as well. Because unless you can catch that ledge down there, once you fall you're basically doomed. So, look at that. One concussion blast from Farah, you're off. You know, so there can be a lot of potential on that bridge for kills. But anyway, back to this area. Of course, you've got this upper level here. I didn't touch too much on that, but you can get a nice little nook set up there. You can set up on the sides here. And here we have Baldrick von Alder. This is the uh, Griefheart skin we showed for Reinhardt earlier. And he was the leader of the Crusaders, which Reinhardt is one, obviously. He's like Reinhardt on steroids. He fought off these Omnics and then died here. And the objective is his armor. This circle right here is your final capture point. Once you get the payload there, you win. Now you've got spawn exits on either side for the defenders. And a health pack up here. Defenders can get a nice setup there. So that's pretty much all there is to the map. 
I'm very excited for this map to the live version. You know, there's... It's the first hybrid. Kind of. You know, it's the first time we really see push, capture, and then once you capture the cart, push it through, and then capture a point at the end as well. You know, so there's a lot going on with this map. There are several really in chokeholds for the um, attackers to deal with. And this little structure up here is my favorite because if you have a good setup here and the attackers pass under that archway, the second archway here, which in itself could prove a challenge, you can just kind of rotate around. It doesn't serve as well, but if you can get, I don't know, like onto the archway and fire down, or if you're a sniper or an altitude class go up there, you can very easily just kind of rotate this. This whole structure, the whole castle, um, it's very strong. It's a good defense area along that first archway. And those major choke points combined with, you know, the ones you see in here, especially around this corner right here, when you've got all these angles you have to worry about, it's a very interesting map. I'm excited to see how it goes. And then we're going to hang out with this guy right here. So I hope you enjoyed my little breakthrough and some strategies for this map. And now uh, let's treat you to some gameplay of it, yeah? So I'm queued up now to uh, join the, you know, the weekly brawl in the PTR, which is just play Eisenwald with one per team. One of each hero per team. You can't stack in this brawl. So we're going to take a look at how the, um, how all the different heroes can use their abilities and the flanking routes you've got. defenses. So up first defending like I talked about earlier in the video, we're gonna use Torbjorn. Our first strat's gonna be going up on that uh going up on that archway. And again there's no hero stacking in the weekly brawl. Obviously once the map goes live and you can just take whatever you want with it. Um there will be some insane combos. Build them up, break them down. This is the first um, defender spawn. We get a fantastic look at it during the map. I grow tired of waiting. Shield magic established. So you know, here's that first archway. We'll look Brandon at that out. It'll be fine. So, you know, here's the first cap. They're going to come through this tower, or around the tower. We're going to go up here and set up. Symmetra's got the right idea. This map is awesome, though. Goddamn. We're just going to pop this bad boy. Right. You know, I botched that jump. I didn't say I was good at the game. I said I didn't think well about the game. So, we can put that right up there. So, it's got a lot of cover, actually, because itself, you know. Oh, he's got the new Reinhardt skin. How you like that? Yeah, he just couldn't really get off of that. Ow, hello! My the man is going to count on my turn up there. I thought you'd get a mech kill. <laughs> and I killed Mercy with it, apparently, from the grave. So, you know, that... Working my turn. Set up on your online. We move swiftly. See, that, that archway is just devastating. We got team kill before they could push past it. It's a very effective... Group up! Um, spot. Armor here! They can't do really high angle on the first row. 
So they're kind of cool that bitch. So I'm gonna set up here. Also good spot. Or good angle. Although good sniper could potentially hook you there. Didn't actually go terrible. It's still pretty stupid on my card, but uh, what's better than I expected? Thank you. Armor up. Group up with me. And uh, it's and obviously it's a good for you. Sure, we can get your own armor packs around. My aim is true. Shit, man. This match is a lot of fun. I think I found the most of the referees was another. They can always use more. They can always use more. They can always use more. No, I need to be selfish with the dealer. I just got mad. Armor packs are important for the game. I understand. But to me, you have my armor himself. This will come in handy. Hang out in the armor hole and space. This kind of turns into a little bit of a torture. You have my face. on point, and we're down to 30 seconds left on the clock. Remaining. That archway folded. Devastatingly strong. I should tell you up now. It's gonna matter too much. Armor Damn. here! Just now, I can almost wonder if I can see. I can pull back. You know, it's, it seems very offended tonight. More so than a few of the other maps you find yourself. It's not where you really rely on that one strong, strong push. Like I'm not forgetting. And this way I can show you guys some more of the map on defense. Armor, come get it. So again, I'm I see the great things. Oh, yeah. So they actually have a lot of momentum to build. Because they wiped Ready us all out work. very, very quickly. They didn't just push us back, I they armor. wiped us, so we don't really have uh, that much time to uh, get a good setup going. This is not going well. I'm just going to swap away from Torbjorn now because. No, it's not going to uh, go May. Because May also has the potential worth fighting for. to be very deadly here. See that which is unseen. Yeah, it's a good wall. It's basically a good 
What's Boom, this? not much is gonna do there, you know. Nerf this! Which includes her. Heroes never die. Not being able to go through Reinhardt's barriers of death and despair. My ultimate is charging. <laughs> Wait for me. The payload has reached the bridge. Oh, it's gonna be cool there to breach it. But that's kind of tricky that hero hey, stacking. Although not the whole I'm ready to initiate self-destruct sequence. That was a wonderful play. I got that pretty nice. Here you see Anna and Hanzo pushing alone. It's not really. Hands up. I don't know. I'm just not exactly. I'm ready to survive. Ah! Uh, I kind of want to go Reinhardt, Reinhardt, mainly because it's his map, but also just to uh, shield the shield uh, Bastion, so we could get a really devastating setup going with that. Mercy's not even there. I wanted to upvote their mercy. I guess stick to Roadhog. And so hopefully I can show off an attacking match, and then that will be where we end um, our little video. I hate playing on PTR just because the progress on your PTR account and your main account isn't exactly always up to date. Like, as you can see, I'm almost level 53 on the PTR. I'm about to hit 66 on uh, the main kind of thing. I'm really excited to play Tracer on this map. 
I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of flanking routes, especially on the uh, on the first point. That would really suit her kind of flipping side shot style. I'm very excited for that. There's that fancy Olympic skin. Wink. This 76 isn't very social. Hey! Oh, there you go. Hiya! Check me out! Hiya! We're just playing for players, so there's nothing to imagine right now. Oh, this is nice. Ah! Brandon, quick, put te technical difficulty shit here. Go! Technical difficulty shit, Brandon. Just zoom in on this estimated and elapsed. Okay. I, I'm gonna be really salty if I don't get to attack. Oh, thank god. Cheers, love! The cavalry's here! Prepare your defenses. Yep, everyone's in. Night. What the shit?! It's be that ass app, but I'm gonna try Riku, because you know, worst comes to worst, I'll just do a bot match. It's gonna put me right back in the same team on defense, just you. Prepare to attack. I hate to just duck from matches like that, but I'm trying to do my job here. We don't have enough players to start, do we? Oh no, we do. From go fives, I guess. That was neat. I was in. Greetings. And depending on how it feels, I might do a dark heart. You know, I'm actually gonna play some now just to see if he's in custom lines or anything. Justice will be done. Attack commences in 30 seconds. I will reclaim my master's armor! Yeah, there you go. There it is. He will How reclaim. Embarrassing. He will reclaim his master's armor. I'm looking forward to working with you all. I love that. We're pushing, you know, we're gonna we're going in, we're getting it back for Ronhard. No love it. Huh. Huh. Reinhardt's faster, and Reinhardt's So again, we're gonna use all these different buildings and flanking mounts and those as best we can here. Checking in. Oh hi, Anna. We'll see how it goes. Phew! I'm not I think concerned. I hit the wall. Oh, yeah, the wall that sucks. Ow. But yeah, like I was saying, the thing I love about the map is there's just this control of the set. Robots. I could use some healing! I know all of the Watch Floor is centered around this Omnic Crisis, and this is the first time I can see, like, the results of it. Like, I'll get a direct These These are people that live here. This is a real town that is fucked up incredibly by it. I can't believe you ignore it. Right? 
I do it? Ah, fuck you, May. All right. Um, I'm on the objective. Rally to my six. position. I haven't really thought about how he's gonna play to the map yet. Although I can see him being somewhat useful in that first. Uh, We're all this first now. Point. I can actually see him being like, really useful right in this area over here. Oh, yeah. I can take you. Understood. Our enemies for this teleporter. I'm just you know, ah. Ah. It's just that flanking out. I, I kinda doubted it during the breakdown, but now I think about it was amazing. Be quick about it. Now, like I said, snipers are effective on this map. I'm gonna try to get up in that same spot again, and hopefully, we can use the attack visor up there. The war goes on. Do you go? I got to. Ooh, the Reinhardt's down. I've got you in my sights. Mercy first, mercy first. Yes. Run our next. Tactical necessity. Get over here if you don't want it, but. Yeah, buddy. Everyone dies. Oh, oh, my join me? Uh, uh, no? Oh, 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 no, no, Escort the payload. Get the payload moving. Understood. Yeah, so it gives us a better gate that we can sit way for to open. It's almost ready. Yeah. My ultimate is charging. We're seeing ducks here, the clock's running, Taylor rules are going to play. So it's just a few extra seconds of vulnerability. Basically, we're going to chase you until we're done. Patched up. Oh, you look tired, Zayek. I just realized there's a lot of. Okay, on this map. Like, oh, very close to the They're using the tower! Uh, Fuck it. Let's see. They're. This map is a lot of different realities for they're defending. It really does. Find that damn teleporter. Sounded like the gun. I heard it. Enemy teleporter destroyed. My ultimate is ready. It's high noon. I'm very sorry. God, this map is gorgeous too. You know, obviously I'm. A bit biased towards Overwatch because it's a wonderful game. But, you know, if they fuck up, I'll say they fucked up. I, so far, love it. It's beautiful. Run hard, no! Looks like to 
That just was bad. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like it could be really good on the inside a bit. I here. will protect the innocent. Ah! What? What the hell was that? That's bullshit. Oh. Raptora systems online. I'm a little salty about that. Like, that was suspicious. 60 seconds remaining. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was Eichenwald, or however you say it. I hope you enjoy, and we will see you in the future with more Overwatch content, if you enjoy. So until then, have a nice night, and stay rusty.